everyone, this is Blanca Morales coming to you from the Palace of Ballroom. We're here for the world premiere of the sensational new movie, Vicker Man, the David Vickers Buchanan story. It's just an hour till showtime and the star-studded crowd is beginning to arrive. Here they are, the star of Vicker Man, David Vickers Buchanan, and his lovely wife, the producer and mayor of Landview, Dorian Kramer, Lord Vickers Buchanan. Mom, where are you? We're going to be late for Aunt Dorian's movie pro. I know, I know, and I'm right here. Listen, I had to drop off Sam at his play date. It'll take me two seconds to get dressed. And speaking of, turn around. Oh, you look so beautiful. Wait till James catches you in that. Yeah, but James isn't coming tonight. He has work. Really? Well, you know what? Good. You can hang out with Tomasa's son. He doesn't have a date either. Baz is coming? I'm ready. Bye. Mom! Danny invited me. This is pretty cool, right? Yeah, well, it's not exactly can, but it looks like they're sparing no expense. Well, that's good for you, right? You make a little extra? Yeah, well, I I just figured I'd work, work, be in my own premiere right now instead of working somebody else's uh, cater weir. But hey, I got some good footage of Ryder the other day. That's awesome. Yeah. Um, hey, you look good. All decked out. I got to impress the girl. I hear you. This could be a... Big night for us. Oh, look! I'm so glad you're here. I just got my hair did. You like it? Yeah, looks good, looks good. And it looks like you did some shopping, girl. Yeah. All right, well, I'm taking Nate to the premiere tonight, and I had no idea what to wear. I just grabbed everything that kind of halfway worked. You have to help me pick something. So you and Nate are okay? Yeah. And I want everything to be perfect. Oh, I'm so glad, Danny. So you and Dad? Um, uh, we're all right. We agreed to disagree. Again? Ah, uh, progress, mijita. Not perfection. It's to you about time, Manny. Uh, this is John McBrain. <clears throat> oh, what about Tad Manning? Not on the phone. That's me. No, uh, Delgado. Uh, spit it out. Okay. This goes back to when I was with CIA. I know you know about that taste that she told you. Truth is, I got in over my head. There's some things about Manning you don't know. What kind of things? What are you doing in my office? Does there have to be a reason? I just missed you. And I wanted to follow up on the attack on your son. Jack says he was knocked out in this office. And that's a dream come true, isn't it, baby? Blanca, our life is a dream come true. You yeah, it would have so been a nightmare if you hadn't dropped the charges against my mother. You've been in a cell, Dorian. Cousin David would have been all alone. Like me. James told me that you helped Dina get that information on her mother? Uh, yeah, she went to California to find her. Oh, I heard that lawyer first wanted like 20 grand. I just wouldn't that. Um, we worked it out. I just wish my pa and staff Nora were here. They're here in spirit. They're in Philadelphia with my little bro. You feel better, Matthew. Oh, look, there's Harrison. Harrison! Harrison played my paw in the film. We should probably go over and say hi. He's gonna want to talk to me. Vivian, look at you. We're so proud of you. You're a success. And you know your mother. She loves the movies. But I love you more. I knew you would make it big in America. I wish Rama was here with us. No, it's too much excitement for a pregnant lady. And she's taking care of Aubrey, so... I just hope she doesn't catch her cold. 
David, you know I have to ask. Those rumors about you and your co-star, Ionia Masters, Ionia played Dorian in the film, and according to The Sun, the romance spilled off screen. I did not have sex with that woman. Next question. All right, Mayor, who are you wearing? Oh, thank you so much for asking, Blanca. I am wearing Gammy. Yes, exclusively designed for me, one of a kind. Are you sure about that? David? She's wearing my gammy. I wouldn't worry about it. It's wearing her. That bitch tried to destroy my marriage. I am not gonna let her destroy my opening. I'll protect your opening. I'm not doing a job for you. You figure it out. That's why I'm here. Where are you going now? Oh, I got what I needed. Thanks, Jack. What was that about? Uh, I was just John making sure everyone knows he's on the case. What case? You told him you're attacked, you idiot! Oh, right. I thought maybe it was about... No, uh, the Gigi Marasco thing is over. Your friend Brad took care of it. So, was this about the origami cogs? No, we don't have to worry about them anymore. That, that whole thing's dead and buried. Ah, uh, don't, uh... Don't you worry about Todd Manning. I know all about that guy. Boy, he's a menace. True. What I have to tell you is privileged information. Hi, Bass. Let's do this later. No, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. What, what, what were you going to say? I'll be at the premiere at the palace tonight. I'll see you there. Tell you what I know. I'm so glad that you are here, but I'm so bummed that Langston couldn't make it. Yeah, I know, I know. She really wanted to be here, but she's working on that other project, and they wanted her on location. I know. You guys are both doing so great. Her script for Bigger Man was perfection. And once in a while, the actors even said her lines. <laughs> <laughs> so your collaboration has been a real success. It's been going well. We're, uh, we're learning to trust each other again. You know that whole thing with Ford had nothing to do with you. I know, I know. It was just hard. Yeah. yeah. But uh, what about you and James? How's that going? Oh, it's great. It's, I'm sorry you guys won't be able to see each other tonight. He actually is work. Oh. So who's this Baz guy? Were you just eavesdropping on your father's conversation? How else am I supposed to find out who my father really is? How did you hear about Baz? from Langston. She says you talk about him all the time. Well, yeah, we've been working together and it has been great. We're recording with me on vocals. Who knew? Uh, me and Langston. Star, you were so good in her musical. <laughs> well, it was okay. And, uh, how's Cole? Have you seen him? Uh, yeah, actually, um, I bring hope to see him once a week and we talk. It's hard, um, but he's okay. The prison actually has a college program, so I signed up for psych. Yeah, I know. I know. He wrote. Are you sure there's nothing with this, um, with this Baz guy? Because, I mean, Langston said... Marco, will you cut it out? Langston's job is to write drama. Okay? All right. Now, if we keep talking about this, you are going to miss your own movie premiere. Now, get out. Bye. <laughs> I'll see you there. Over here. Where's that famous smile? <laughs> that bitch is wearing my dress. I'm gonna rip it off her bony back and kick her ass to the curb. All right. Are you doing this? How dare you show up in my dress at my opening? Excuse me. I am the star of this film. <laughs> Blanca. This woman is a liar and a cheat. She has conspired with a certain Echo de Savoy to have me kidnapped. And believe me, Blanca, if there were any justice in the world, she would be arrested and thrown in jail. That's the problem. There is no justice. Dad? Hey, Shane. Is that a new comic? Can I see? No. Why not? Because... <laughs> Stupid, it's not real. Well, that's the point of superheroes. They can do all the stuff that ordinary people can't.
machine. What's going on with you? Look, I know you said the thing with Shane's mom is over. Yes, it's over, Jack. But it's not over. McPain knows it was me. That's why he was here. He's out to get me. Everyone is so glamorous. It's a very exclusive event. It wasn't easy getting tickets. Our son has connections. Mm -hmm. Love you. Most people aren't so fortunate. Aubrey and Cutter got turned away at the door. Aubrey? Aubrey Wentworth? I thought she was ill. Yes, you told us that uh, Grandma was taking care of her. Oh, um... Wilma, where is your wife? Mummy, Jumbi, I have a confession to make. Rama is not going to miss our baby's first movie premiere for anything in the world.